Oh. Oh, let's go. Thank you. So, try not to be weird. No, move your heads too much. Okay, but like, tell me if I am. So are, are all elves Chinese? No. Look at me, bro. He, he's I'm not Chinese. I'm Latino. He's actually the only Chinese elf yeah. in the North Pole, believe it or not. We're actually diversity hires. Oh, really? You're not Chinese? I'm not Chinese. No, I'm, I'm Latino. <laughs> are you? Do you speak Spanish? Yeah. I speak Hola. Spanish. Hola, bro. How you doing, bro? <laughs> I thought you guys would know, like, every language. How? Well, don't you have to read all the, the letters? No, they have, like, specific departments. Also, we have Google Translate too. Like, don't act like this Google is only Dude, for you. It, you could, the, the Western world also changed the North Pole as well. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't watched Oppenheimer. How did you guys, uh, have you ever had milk and cookies before? No. Can we, I thought it was just decoration. Cause Santa, oh shit, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not used to how it, I'm not used to holding it. Santa anything, doesn't let us indulge in it. It's just for him. Oh. Can I have one? Is this, is good? Yeah. Oh my God, wait, no, Santa, don't. Okay, guys, have you never eaten before? We are oh, allowed to eat this, cookie bro. and have. What the fuck you mean break the fuck? Have you ever had it? You could just wait, can, can you wait? Oh shit. Like this? Bro, it looks Can you give me? Okay, why are you shoving your fingers in his tongue? Mm. Oh, these are cheap. <laughs> How do you know they're cheap? You've never eaten a fucking <laughs> fidget <laughs> Oh, no worries. I've never actually tried one of these before. <laughs> so how did you guys uh, get time off to be here from the... Um, this is the busiest time of the year for you. Okay, well, we're not supposed to be here because it is, yeah, the busiest time, but we called in sick. We called in sick? Because it's good timing, though, because we just got Ebola. Yeah. Like, we just got what? Ebola. You know, everything hits the North Pole later. Like, yeah. we just realized that Internet Explorer wasn't good anymore. Yeah. Right? So Ebola just hit us. So do you have Ebola or the, it's there? It's there. So we use that excuse. But it's only in, like, the hood. Yeah. Like, it's not in, like, the western parts of the North Pole. Like, it's really just in elf hood. So elf hood. Yeah, we have financial inequality too, man. What are the elves that are in the elf hood look like just like not as put together you know oh dark skin yeah whoa, whoa dude or tattoos what the fuck is wrong with you bro? oh you were saying i said slim wrists i feel like you guys are first impressions i feel like you guys are shitty elves <laughs> yeah a little bit <laughs> Being an elf is not easy. Yeah, you act like it's all easy. All you do is go to a library. We work oh, hard. Yeah, we work hard for these kids. Yeah? Yeah, you fuck, you, you stand in front of a camera, talk, say some funny jokes. We are on the assembly line getting- You called in sick to be here, guys. Do you really care that much? I made What's iPhones it? for like 300 days in a row. Okay. 300, 300 days of iPhones, that's like a billion iPhones. Do you have the, do you have the record? Is there like a record system at the North Pole where like, Whoever. We went online yeah. recently. We went digital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, you know, while we were transferring everything from um, paper to digital, we found something and we wanted to bring yeah, it in today. Yeah, we did find something. I we did research on you. On me. I found a Derek Gerard seven-year-old Santa's wish list oh, that I found. Shit. So, yeah, so Hopefully I thought you I would read this. this out. Let me know if you remember writing this. That's a little bit personal, though. Okay. Well, you know, well, we, we don't, don't have to. Yeah, it's fine, man. I'll put it back. It's not like it's great content or anything. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I, can I read it? You would like to read okay, it? Okay, yeah, you read it. Yeah, I mean, I, if I wrote it. Your handwriting is god awful, by the way. Okay. Dear Santa, my name is Darren Gerard. For Christmas, all I want is for mom and dad to stop fighting. I'm sorry. Did you get your wish, buddy? Also, I want a super soaker. <laughs> super sucker? <laughs> Dude, you were seven. I don't think you knew what a super sucker was. Santa, XOXO, Derek G from that library show. XOXO, Derek G from that library show. Did they uh, stop the divorce? Well, so you guys weren't the ones, to, like, 
Were you guys around back then for this? Because it didn't, it didn't, like, the wish didn't come true. I got the super soaker. You didn't oh. get the parents stop fighting, though? No. Well, Sorry. Because we can, we're not magicians. We just make things. Santa can't do everything, bro. Can I keep this? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. If you want. Are you going to get it, like, emotional, though? Like, during the episode? Like, I don't want to think about your father. I mean, right this is probably something that you should have brought up, like, at the end, you know? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you... I, you just reminded me that my parents aren't together anymore. You know, I'm now realizing well, my we, miscalculation. Well, are your guys' are your guys' parents elves? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think. I don't really know, like... Well, I don't know my dad, but I'm assuming he was an elf. I got, like, two options, because... Since there's a... It's, like, majority of elves <laughs> are really... Okay. <laughs> okay. Is, that, is that a thing that they do to, like, interrupt, or is that real? Do you guys not cough? Do you not? Do you not have coughing yet at the fucking North Pole? No, we have Ebola. We have Ebola. Most elves are white, but I appeared so I could either be a really small Chinese boy or a Chinese elf somehow. I don't. It's like I don't know. He's he's the only anomaly in the whole North Pole. When I first saw a Chinese person, my life changed. I was opened up to a whole new world of these different kind of eyed people, and like. <laughs> You can't put that in. Dude, did you go to the island of Misfit Toys? Oh, Misfit Toys. That's not real. Oh. Where'd you hear that? In the movies. Yeah, that's Dude, not of real. course. Movies are real. That's all cultural appropriation. Yeah. Like, about, elves are very different from the actual, the where they're portrayed in movies. What about movie Elf? It's horrible. Dude, dude. Elf Farrell actually ruined elves yeah. he ruined us he dug us in the ground with all these like misconceptions about elves i hate that guy i hate we, Will don't, we don't like him no no it's sort of like we don't like him he's canceled in the north pole wow we have cancel culture too we just got that yeah do, so do you have a choice to be an elf or like what's the vibe it's kind of like, like you're, you're like miniature so wherever you go you're gonna stand out if you try to go in the real world anyway because yeah. you know sometimes i think that like all the Little people are like just like dispatched elves. Oh yeah, they they're the ones that made it out. They're yeah. the ones that made it out. Yeah. Damn, but like they probably can't talk about it. No, like no. you know that you know that you know the small guy in Game of Thrones. He made it out. He inspired oh, us. Oh yeah, we go way back. Yeah. <laughs> I thought was my buddy in the assembly line. Really? Yeah. But the thing is, like Tyrion Lannister. Mm -hmm. thought, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what's his what? real name? Oh, Sh Schmorling. Yeah. <laughs> That's his real name, but he had to switch names. His, el his elven name? <laughs> oh. Peter Dinklage. Yeah, Peter <laughs> Dinklage. That's just his bad. <laughs> you could tell, like, he didn't know how to make a name. So, have you guys ever, uh... Have you guys ever, uh... Like, what? Are you guys dating or single? <sighs> it's rough. Even, I mean, it's kind of rough because you work with everybody and the drama is, like... Lot. It's really also hard. The, the proportion of like men and women. There's not a lot of girls, dude. Are you guys virgins? Wait. Well, what's uh? How do you lose that? Like, what's virginity to humans? Virginity to humans is. I know, but like, is it count if it was like, a, an, like an animal? That is actually a good point. I know. He, here that's like you'll go to jail oh are you serious well it's not normal there but a lot of elves like do it with um the reindeers yeah i actually did that yeah i think don't that. admit no well, it's, it's, fine. it's a cultural thing yeah oh uh -huh. yeah. it's like a lot of people do it like, it's like eating like pig's feet it's like here everyone's like ew but you guys are like no that's so what's santa like well what do you think he's like the jolliest guy around. No, no. Dude, why? These are such big stereotypes. That guy's a Debbie Downer, dude. All he does is talk about how much he hates everything. That guy is really? the worst, bro. All these kids worship him because they give him, because because Santa will give them he gifts. He doesn't do anything. We do most of we it. We do all of it. He's just work. like the publisher. He's just the door dasher. Oh. That's the he only thing. He door dashes one day out of the whole year. Works one day and you guys do everything. Wow. We work 364 days a year. He works one day and everyone worships him. He's like Santa. Um, Steam Jobs for you guys. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ex except I hope Santa dies of cancer because that guy's the worst. Okay, so what happens on that one day when you guys aren't working? Santa's gone. Mm -hmm. But Miss, dude, Mrs. Claus is all alone on that day. 
No, but she's untouchable. Like you, no. you'll get sent to like the gulag if you. You guys can admit that you fucked a reindeer, but you won't talk about it. No, you don't talk stuff about stuff in this cause cause like a turkey. You don't stop. Whoa. No, you don't talk about that, bro. That's the one thing you don't go into. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. If you guys sign an NDA, like it's fine. We can, we can talk about it. Well, we, yeah, we we did, but the fact that we're even here, I feel like we're already gonna be in trouble. So we might as well just spill the beans. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, Miss Claus is. She, you only see Miss Claus if Miss Claus wants to see you. That's if you know kind of. Yeah. If you know what I mean. What when Santa gets mad at you guys? Can we even? Oh my God. You know what? You don't even have to say it. Can we talk about that? This is really stressful, man. Just show me. Well, so who's gotten in trouble? I think I got in trouble first before you. Yeah. Because I accidentally. What did he do to you? Well, I just didn't realize, like, I didn't have common sense to, like, not make some gifts that were inappropriate, and he got mad, so, like... Oh, oh my god, I remember it like it was yesterday. Well, it started with here. Yeah, he actually, he, he has a big toe guy. Apparently, this is, like, a common thing where it starts here. Can, can I take that elf, like, why is, like, give me the, why is it in this? This position. That's the position that we have to start in. That's what the position he makes us go in. You actually had that perfect. Well, no, he, he was like curled up in a bar. You have to wait in a room for like multiple days first. Did, has he ever touched you right, right here in your heart? No, on the nipple, bro. Is there like an LGBTQ representation in the? No, we're, we're sort of still traditional. So that still hasn't made its way. No, no, it's yeah. what I'm happens sure to. What happens if Santa sees like two boy elves? We've oh. actually, I mean, you get like, like put down. Yeah. Santa don't want none of that in his workshop. Yeah. So you Because know. apparently it's a distraction. What's the method? Well, I, the rumor is, you remember Jesus Christ? You guys know him? You guys <laughs> know him, right? I mean, he's, he's the Christmas guy. Is he the Christmas guy? Oh, he's like, there's Jesus and there's Santa. That's true. Oh, damn. I forgot about that. Have you guys met him? No, but we know people that have. Yeah. The worst, I, I heard you get put on a cross and just left there. Yeah. Oh, they crucify you guys. And then feed you to the reindeer, probably. I feel like we're next, dude. Like, I don't even know if we can go back. Oh, because I, we do look really twinky. I watched Call Me By Your Name since we got to, to Canada, and I just have some... By Lil Nas X? No, it's no, a the game film movie. with Timothy Chalamet. He's good looking, by the way. I really wish we had one of those up in the North Pole. So I think I might go back a little bit homosexual. I don't. That's a, but you know what? Here, that's fine. You'd actually thrive here if if you were. It's the opposite. Yeah. Are you serious? Like these days. Mm -hmm. I heard you get stoned as well where we are. Yeah. I heard it happens here. Yeah. Too. No, no, like like stones are thrown at us. Dude, if you were. Here, you can get be gay and get stoned. But like in but that good kind of stoned? Yeah. Oh my God. We haven't ever done weed. Can you tell me like the most requested gift from, if I give you a country? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know I know every single country inside and out, yeah, all the letters. Well, number one, you, the good old USA. What are they asking for? A lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of firearms. I don't know if that's the most requested one, but that stands out. Yeah, Lots I, I see it all the time. Fake IDs. Okay, okay. What about uh, what about China? Oh my God. China. I feel like you would know this. A lot of me, huh? A lot of VPN membership. Nord, Nord VPN. That's a big. That's actually yeah. a big one. Right? A lot of I you say that. masks. Okay. I think okay. air quality. What about um, Africa? Well. I don't know why they asked for this because it can't act like we, I, can't, we can't actually make it. This. it. It's it expired. <laughs> what are you? Whoa. Very forward question. What what am I? I'm a Latino builder, bro. You're not Latino. I'm Latino. What do you mean I'm Latino? I'm a Latino elf. I'm just a builder, bro. You're gonna tell him what he is. So you're a elf? Chelf. That sounds like a slur. Chelf. Chinese elf. elf. Okay. That doesn't sit Latino. that right with me. <laughs> But I don't know how I feel about it. it. Do you guys have any like slurs in the North Pole? Oh, it's the same one as you. <laughs> have you guys ever, do you know what these are? <gasps> oh my God. You have those? Terrace. Those are like, what, Dude, what is these like? like those are like, like diamonds for like, humans. That's like 4,000 like days of work of commissary. Oh my God. Do we have to, oh my God. 
Get it out of the box. Oh, get it out. It's so loud. Terry. Child, okay. Oh my god. Wait, guys, you don't even know how to fucking eat it properly. But dude, you're supposed to smash it first. You're supposed to smash oh it. I've literally god. never seen one of these before, dude. It's You guys aren't good elves. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, shh. Hot trash like 4,000 days of hard elf work. <sighs> so, what do you guys do, uh, like in the off season when you're not working? When we have some time off, we try to, you know, we try to make it out of the North Pole yeah. by doing what, you know, Schlonger did. I forgot his name. We try to get Human famous. Name. We try to get famous out here so we can leave the North Pole. You trying to get famous? Yeah. You trying to make it out? Yeah, mm -hmm. we do social media too. Yeah, yeah. that's why we were really hyped when we got the message from you. Because we have a podcast in the North Pole, bro. Yeah. You have a podcast? Yeah. We have to do it like on the down low though. What do you, what do you talk about on your podcast? Just like growing up as a Gen Z person. Gen Z elf. Gen Z elf. You know, it's really hard. And so, the elf coping mechanism is humorous. We just joke about everything. Yeah, like the amount of jokes we've made about each other's dads. Mm -hmm. Tubular, really. Yeah, do you guys have fathers here? Because we don't. I mean, did you read my letter? Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean... Oh, he, he left. He left. I thought you should... Wait, so you get, do you guys... You guys don't have dads? No. no. My dad, he was... I got my laziness from him. But he... He got... Well, yeah, no, elves have depression, too. And we don't have mental health services. So one day, he just made like one too many iPhones and just called it. <coughs> top his point of he, I, not I the he call, not the called it pun with the iPhone. So he just got on a reindeer and just j jumped off. Like flew, I actually saw it. He flew the reindeer really yeah. high in the air, jumped off. I like if I really think about it, I can hear that splat noise he made when he hit that ground. It was crazy. I don't have a cool story like that though. My dad just left, so. <laughs> I wish I had a cooler backstory, but mine's pretty lame. Okay. His dad kind of started a revolution of... Mm. You can call him... He's sort of like our Martin Luther King. Yeah. Wow. I had a dream. You know, Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He just had to get it off. He had to get That's it off. father. Do you, have a, do you have a dream guest for your podcast? Yeah, we like this guy, Pete Davidson. Oh, Pete, we, when we got here, I watched The King of Staten Island on the flight over here. We love Pete Davidson. Really good film. Pete Davidson, good guy. All the, actually, you know what? A lot of the elves love Pete Davidson. Yeah. I don't know he's if it's because he's so... He's big up there. Yeah. Why? He, he just... He's like a model human, you know? Yeah. He's so revolutionary. Yeah, Pete Davidson kind of forms what we think about all humans. So you guys also, like, fetishize white culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, like, big on that. And this, too. We Black, really Panther? Black Panther. Black Panther, fun, entertaining movie. Santa plays it every Wednesday at 2.30 mm -hmm. p.m. We all tune in. Well, I would feel like Santa would like... Do you guys watch any, like, K-dramas? What is a K-drama? Mm, like, it's, um... Like, 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 like The Squid Game. The Squid Game. The Squid Game. We, we actually the Squid Game. We, they, we had a remake. We had a live-action remake called The Elf Game. Very well mm -hmm. done, they did. We really like BTS. Oh, yeah? BTS. Actually, you know what? BTS, great songs. What, 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 what does BTS ask for for Christmas? I don't know if they're on bad contracts, but a lot of them like ask to get out their contract. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's Can you guys do that? or? Well, I'm a toy maker. No, don't. I don't know. So what do you send them instead? Charcoal. Coal? <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's actually like... Like, Jimin got coal this year, I heard. <laughs> well, Jungkook also... He made a song about having intercourse for a week straight, so we had the naughty list him this time. Yeah, that was, uh, I don't know what he, I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. Santa does not mess with intercourse seven days a week. Exhausting. It's too much. Even for two schlongers like us, I could not do something like that. Wow. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, let's, let's answer the question that everybody's. Are you guys together? Dude, we've you're trying to get us like you're trying to get us put down because <laughs> you know LGBT is illegal there. I mean, keep it on the down low. I won't tell anybody. We've hooked up like a couple times. Just experiment, but not what's together. 
Uh, amen. Because we spend all our time together. We kiss, we make out, and we do things together. But does that mean we're together? Because prove it. If I... Do you want to prove it? I'll prove it. <laughs> okay, I'll prove it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, it's no. not funny. <laughs> Proved it, bro. Dude, you have really soft lips. So, like, <laughs> is this your first time seeing two guys kiss? Like, it's not. What's funny about that? Huh? Santa, we got him. No. Do you guys know what a point five is? Yeah. Some half of a one. Some somebody asked me to take a selfie the other day. They recognized me and they said, "Do you want to do a point five? Oh, yeah. It's like another setting on the iPhone. I didn't know. I I feel like I need like a Gen Z friend to explain this stuff to me. Yeah, you're so millennial. Yeah, you're Like, right. when you do duck face still. Why do you say it like that? We checked your story out before we came. Why is everybody calling me a millennial do, these do days? Your face, yeah. like, do, do your face. Do your, do your, do your, like, you do a duck face when you take selfies and you post them. Like, you That is so out. millennial, bro. What is it? <laughs> what does it mean to be a fucking millennial? What does that mean? It just, like, means you try too hard on Instagram. And you use, like, filters. What are you doing? Yeah. We're in an age of not trying on social media and you're not following along. Yeah. Well, maybe if you tried, your fucking podcast would be better and you could quit the North Pole and move to Canada. But no, you guys don't try hard enough because you're Gen Z. I'm so cool. You mm -hmm. I kiss boys. <laughs> what is that? Why did you add in the last part? A lot of people, well, we did a thing on our podcast where people sent us problems <laughs> they have and a lot of the questions were like, how do you get a good friendship like you guys? What makes you guys good friends? Um. It's honestly like, this is gonna sound interesting, but you kind of have to treat your friend like you would maybe treat like your boyfriend. <laughs> like, if you guys wanna kiss again, like. Well, no, I, a big thing is like in, in romantic relationships, you need boundaries, right? That's something you also need in your platonic friendships as well. Mm. Also, I think the main part of our friendship is I can rely on you to have fun with you. You know, I think our conversations are always fun. I'm always f fulfilled. I don't know if that's something we worked on or if it's just like something that chemistry wise, just we got lucky. So maybe some people are just too boring. Well, it's yeah. not even about being boring. It's like, well, it's just like, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I feel like some people when they're in a bad mood, they don't want to be around their friends because they think, oh, like, I don't want to bring my friend down. You know what I mean? But I feel like if I'm in a bad mood and I see him, I'm just not in a bad mood anymore. I think that's what makes it so valuable That's true, actually. Like, I had a friend that for a long time that was really depressed. And like, I don't mind being around a friend who's like not in the mood. But he was born. And they're sad. But then like, if every single time I'm hanging out with you, all you are is sad, it's hard to want to hang out with you. No, 100%. You guys have, you have those up there? Yeah, Dude, I mean, what? this is the side of, this is. Dude, we have water bottles. You know what I don't understand? People who are on Bumble BFF. <laughs> Isn't that like the cringiest shit ever? It's cringe being lonely? <laughs> it's you can't even be, be lonely? Wait, are you on Bumble BFF? I used to be. <laughs> That's a bit cringe, so, bro. So That's a bit cringe. So you're shaming me. I was lonely and I wanted to get better. Now I'm getting shamed. Go out in the real world. Dude, you, you can't go to just a bar and talk to someone. Go, but you use Tinder and Hinge and it's the same thing. Not for friends. You, f you try to find the one on Hinge. Yeah, have good luck with that, buddy. Good luck with that. This, it's like going out on a friend date with somebody that you met on an app to me is just like, get your life together. I, but you go I, on a, I get that. I but get you go that. on a romantic date and it's fine? What's the double standard? You've been talking about double standard the whole time. This is double no, standard. No, because friends don't meet that way. They don't go, oh, let's set up a date to see if we're friendly compatible with one another. Ooh. But you have internet friends. I don't even want to hear it. He, clearly, you're the only Chinese elf, bro. You just, you think differently. No, he, th th you, I don't even want to hear you talk. He, this guy's friends on like Valorant. Okay, that's even more lame. Why are you telling him I play Valorant? I don't want him to think I'm uncool, bro. Okay, so you guys, you must be able to wrap a gift pretty quickly. It's your job. Almost magical levels. We're so. basically mastered at it, I would say. So I got, I got this. <gasps> the Grinch waffle maker. <laughs> you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? I know this is a gift for like somebody that he knows. He's gonna give this like his mom. <laughs> this guy's this guy's giving a scissored oh, child's play. Thank you, sir. Three, two, one, go. What? You can't. Go, go, go. 
control. We've got to be quiet. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. Shh. I don't know. That took you a minute and 27 seconds. Okay. Why do you think we work 364 days, yeah. bro? It takes us a long time. We do it a lot, but I was expecting if if I got that on Christmas morning, I think I, would, I wouldn't believe in Santa Claus. Dude, but what? you're just gonna throw it out anyway. Like the wrapping paper, so what's the what point? What the fuck kind of elf mentality is this, guys? Yo, what the fuck? I hope you put a lot more work into your Wait, podcast. Okay. What does this have to do with our podcast? Now you're making it personal because you're all of a sudden triggered by bad rapping. Like, what is this? What childhood memory what is, is this? this? Did your dad try rapping it and mess it up like this? Yeah, yeah, I hit a sore spot. I hit a sore spot. Oh, I, you know what? I wrote that fucking letter in confidence. Merry Christmas, fucko. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And guess what? It's going to be hella easy to open. And guess what? Recycle it. Yeah. It's recyclable. Reuse the material, save the planet. The glaciers are melting at the North Pole. Yeah, dude, I need we're not gonna have a home. home. We're, our home is melting because of people like you. Because of people like, like you. you. You people. So don't you ever come to the two master rappers and be like, why are you rapping at all weirdly, bro? Because guess what? Wait, wait. Master rappers? <laughs> Miss Claus, she's so big, she's so fun. I want her on me. Yeah, she I just I just learned this. Oh my god, that's making its way around right now. I like that. You know what I like? You know what I like doing? Oh Nene. It's right. It's called Nene. 